The Los Angeles Lakers had a horrendous time in the league last season. Plagued by injuries, the purple side of LA didn't even make it to the NBA playoffs. However, with Anthony Davis finally back to full fitness, and with other players like LeBron, Patrick Beverly, and Russell Westbrook in the squad, everyone thought they would fare better this season. In today's video, we'll review why that hasn't been the case so far. First things first, has Anthony Davis lost his shooting touch? Everyone in the league expected AD to be back to his best in shooting, after finally moving on from his injury woes this year. However, that's not how things have turned out for the 2020 NBA champion. He's attempted 3.3 three-pointers per game so far this season and only connected on 20% of those. This is way below the standards of shooting he set in the league from 2017 to 2020. His record in jump shooting from mid-range has been even worse as he made 0% of his looks in the first two games of the season. Looking at how things have gone so far for the Lakers and AD in the first three games, we get the impression that the league is not particularly worried about about the eight-time NBA All-Star when he's shooting from outside of the painted area. In Sunday's game, where the Lakers took on the Portland Trailblazers, there was an instance that epitomizes how things are going so far for the big man. Here's what happened. AD got free from three-point range, and Yusuf Nurkic, who was the closest Trailblazers player, didn't even make an attempt to block him from taking the shot. All on his own, with no one even near him, the big man wasn't even able to connect with the basket. The ball bounced off the sideboard for an easy rebound for Portland. The Lakers went on to lose the game, 106-104, to for their third loss of the season already. Up next, the background of 80s shooting woes. Davis has been struggling with injuries for quite a while now. Since winning the 2019-2020 NBA title with the Lakers, the former New Orleans Pelicans man hasn't been able to gather any real momentum and build up ahead of steam. Last season, which was nothing less than a disaster for the Lakers, he was only able to appear in 40 games. Earlier this year, speaking about his injury woes, he shared that he had been playing with a wrist injury injury from January till the end of the season, and it showed as he ranked among the NBA's worst high-volume jump shooters last season. All of his shooting woes this season really make us think if he's still battling that wrist injury. If that's the case, it could end up costing him and the Lakers a lot more than just one bad season. Moving on, the Lakers' problems go deeper than AD's shooting. While AD's lack of shooting efficiency does seem to be a big problem for the Lakers this season, it's not their only concern so far this season. The Lakers' biggest concern would be the form of Russell Westbrook. Westbrook has had a fantastic scoring record in the league throughout his career. However, the Oklahoma City Thunder superstar had an underwhelming last season by his standards. This season, in the Lakers' last two games against the Los Angeles Clippers and the Portland Trailblazers, Westbrook has played a combined total of 55 minutes and scored just 12 points. The 2017 NBA MVP looks far from his best, and to make matters worse, we're seeing no signs of a recovery in his form anytime soon. Next up, what caused the loss against Portland? While there are always multiple moments and factors where a basketball game is won or lost, there were some key areas where the Lakers lost Sunday's game against the Portland Trailblazers. While the Lakers' shooting problems did seem to cause most of the damage, it was still a pretty close game that they could easily have won. Many of the people who watched the Lakers game against Portland on Sunday believe that it was Westbrook who lost the game for them. With just 36 seconds left on the clock, the Lakers led the Trailblazers by a point at 101-102. to The Lakers restarted the play with Westbrook on the ball, and everyone else ready to move into the Trailblazers half. With so little time left, the sensible thing would have been to take your time and then try to get in a late bucket as the 24-second clock comes to an end. However, Westbrook had other ideas as he rushed and missed a shot with 17 to 16 seconds still remaining on the 24 second shot clock. As soon as Westbrook missed that shot, the look on LeBron's face said it all. He looked towards the former Houston Rockets man with a look of disgust mixed with shock and then turned back to defend again. The Trailblazers came back to win the game by a narrow two-point margin. Continuing on, the Lakers still need to prove themselves. While LeBron and AD were able to bring the championship title back to Los Angeles after a gap of 10 years, most people in the NBA aren't convinced. Many of them are now calling it a fluke win that they were only able to achieve in a bubble. Now, for all of us who love the Lakers, this isn't easy to hear. A championship is a championship, and they still had to turn up and win it. However, we get where those critics are coming from. The Lakers haven't been able to follow up their championship win by putting any real challenge in the league, but we still think there's talent on the team. What's lacking is cooperation and teamwork. The players don't look to be on the same page. If Darvin Ham can get LeBron, AD, and Russell Westbrook on the same page, they can still make it deep into the playoffs at least. Moving on to Anthony Davis not living up to the Lakers' expectations. 
expectations. The Lakers were struggling big time last season, but whenever you criticized them, at least they had an excuse. They leaned on the fact that AD's absence is what's causing the Lakers' lack of killer instinct. If that wasn't enough to put pressure on Davis, throughout the offseason and preseason, Darvin Ham and LeBron James have been playing up AD's role in the squad, with both of them suggesting that he would be the Lakers' main offensive threat this season. They put a huge weight of expectations on the big man. This is in keeping with what their strategy has been in acquiring AD from the New Orleans Pelicans in a near-impossible trade. As good as LeBron still looks, we all know he isn't getting any younger. The Lakers know and are prepared for his eventual exit from the Los Angeles outfit, which is why they went in and got Davis. They expected him to be the face of the Lakers once LeBron leaves. In the process, it looks like the Lakers have put too much pressure on him, and it seems like he's not quite been able to fight off that pressure. With the core of the Lakers squad now fully fit, they don't have any excuses left either, and the critics seem to be coming for their heads. Next, what's next for Anthony Davis and the Lakers? This is a crucial season for Anthony Davis. The outcome of this season will define how his legacy with the Lakers will eventually shape up. He was supposed to be the one who replaces LeBron as the face of the Lakers once he leaves. If he has another bad season, it's quite possible that the Lakers might start looking in some other direction for a new face. Apart from his lack of shooting efficiency, he doesn't look as aggressive as we know him to be. He's someone who used to grab games by the scruff of the neck and dominate his side to victories. We're yet to see that same player from the Lakers' season-winning run this season. Many of the experts are now questioning his desire, with some even saying that the big man looks to be completely satisfied with having just one championship ring in his career. However, we would like to keep our judgments to ourselves for now. It's just three games in, and his shooting form may just be a blip. After all, he's coming back from a long-term injury to his wrist, which is bound to have an impact on his jump shooting. We're still backing him to come good for the Lakers this season. Fingers crossed. Where the Lakers do need to turn their attention, however, is Russell Westbrook. While his form is a worry, he also doesn't look that happy in Los Angeles. His situation definitely needs a resolution. And that's where we'll end our video today. Thank you so much for being with us. We would love to hear from you. Will the Los Angeles Lakers be able to recover their season after three straight losses? Will we ever see Anthony Davis back at his best? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for all the latest news in town. We'll see you in the next video.